This is going to be all hammerstone work at this stage. It's a pretty weird looking flake. It might seem like a nice big thick one to work down into a projectile, but it's kind of concave on this side. It's got a lot of mass right here. So it's going to be a lot smaller than it than it is right now. All I'm doing right now is just thickening up these edges, getting them ready to take off some bigger flakes, bigger flakes. Stone works really nice with a nice kind of medium hardness hammer stone. This is a piece of quartzite. A little bit flatter on this face now, but it's still you know, dipped down in the center. There it goes. Let's see if I can make this do what I want it to do. Platform set up here. Try and take off some of this big mass. Mm -hmm. Okay, that feels alright, I guess. It's probably time to switch to the indirect. Get a little preform out of that one piece. It's a lot smaller than the original flake. There were a few problems I ran into. Had to sacrifice length and width, but that's ready for pressure flaking. We'll finish that off later. For now, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna attack this thing. This super weird shape. First I'll get rid of all the bits that definitely aren't going to be in the point, the final point. A nice overshot. A little bit flatter on this side now. A couple more off, then I'll leave it alone for now. If I could take a nice thick flake off with this platform, take off this lump, that would be very nice. Not enough.
There we go. Much better. Oh, there's a nice little flake for a little little arrowhead. Pretty happy with how much of this thing I've managed to keep so far. A couple issues to get rid of first, but not uh, as much of a failure as I originally thought it was when I took that weird wonky looking flake that this thing used to be. I need to get rid of this round edge cortex before I do anything else. 